Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see different types of roof trusses. So let's start with the video. See, the list of different types of roof trusses is very large. There are very so many types of trusses that we use generally for the roofs. So I will tell you one by one and I will also tell you which type of roof truss you will be using for a particular span. For example, if the span is in between 15 to 20 meter, if it is between 20 to 30 meter, 30 to 40 meter, 50 meter, 60 meter. So for different spans, we have different category or different types of roof trusses that I will also show you. So let's see the list first one by one. First type of truss is Pratt truss which is also known as end truss. I will also show you the diagrams. Okay, you don't need to worry about it. I'll also show you the diagrams because in exam if it is asked for types of roof trusses you should also draw the diagrams so first type of truss is Pratt truss which is also known as end truss then we have Warren truss then we have north light truss then Fink truss then we have king post truss then queen post truss flat truss how truss Caesar roof truss hip truss Bowstring truss, fan truss, fink truss, octet truss, lenticular truss, towns lattice truss, and perendil truss. So, all these are the various types of trusses. Even some of the trusses you may have heard in your life's first time. You don't need to remember all this, you have to just list out, and only important one you should remember, such as how truss is important one queen king post and queen post truss queen truss pratt truss these are important ones so you should at least remember this one and if it is asked for listing out you should list out all the types of trusses so let's see them for which span you will go for which type of truss so the first one that is king post truss it is generally used up to a span of 16 feet you can convert this feet Means if it is 16 feet you can divide it by 3.28 and you will get your value in meters whatever is the value same you can do for all the types of trusses so up to 16 feet you can go for king post truss and it is not like that you should go only for king post you can even go for queen post also see for 16 feet for example if your span is 16 feet so either you can go for King post or you can go for queen post and either either you have other options also so you can check in which category my particular span fits and according to that you can check whether I can provide that type of truss or not and there are not only only the span criteria there are various types of criteria that you have to check before designing or before selecting a particular type of truss so the first type of king post truss that will have a span of 16 feet then Queen post truss, which is also known as fan truss, it is generally used for a span of 10 feet to 22 feet. Then, fink type of truss, see, it makes a shape of W hair like this. See, here it is making a shape of W hair, that's why it is also known as W truss. It is used generally for a span of 16 to 33 feet. Then, how truss, it is uh, used for a span of 24 to 36 feet then fan or double fan truss which is used for 30 feet to 36 feet modified queen that is multi panel which is also known as multi panel it is used for a span of 32 feet to 44 feet then double fink truss that is used for a span of 40 to 60 feet then double how which is also known as double k and it is used for a span of 40 to 60 feet. Then we have modified. You can pause the video and you can check for how much span a particular type of truss is used. Modified pan we have, then triple fink, then triple how. There are various types of trusses. Okay. So actually, only uh, this one will also be known as only how truss. You if you don't write like this triple K, you can just write how truss only. It will also be correct. So for that. It depends how many uh, spans uh, and up to what span you have to provide this okay then let's see different figures see we I have given you all the figures here 
you can pause the video you can take the screenshot you can take the photo of this and finally you can take the printout also so these are the various types of process that we have so if in exam it is asked to draw these sketches you can draw it like this so this was the video on types of roof truss thank you